Hello, my name is Chris Merritt. I'm joined by Russ Ernst from Product Management, who's going to demonstrate how to detect and remove Mac Defender, a piece of so-called scareware, from all the Mac or OS X machines which are attached to your network. Mac Defender, also known as Mac Security, among other things, is a fake antivirus program which users are tricked into installing after surfing to poisoned websites. The latest variants do not even require the victim's password. Since Macs are becoming more common in the business setting today, in Q1 2011 Apple saw a huge year-over-year -year increase in corporate sales, they are increasingly becoming the target of malware writers. And while certainly not as common as Windows-based malware, malware targeting Macs might be even more troublesome because the tool set for protecting Macs is not as developed. Since this particular strain of Mac malware showed up in mid-May, Apple has issued guidance on how to remove it. However, the suggested approach might not be very effective or efficient in a business setting, with many OS X machines potentially spread around geographically. So the question is, how does one remove Mac Defender from all Apple OS X machines on the network without manually touching each one? Russ? Hi, my name is Russ Ernst, Senior Product Manager at Lumention. And today we're going to see how to use Lumention Patch and Remediation to remove the Mac Defender malware from managed Mac machines in the network. In this test environment, I have a mix of Windows and Mac machines under management. Here you can see we have the Lumention Endpoint Management and Security Suite console open, and we're on the Review Vulnerabilities page. We're first going to search for Mac Defender to find the Lumention Software Removal Tool for Mac Defender Policy Patch so we can see what machines are applicable and not patched for this policy. We can see here that we have one machine shown as not patched. In this case, this means the content applicability detected the Mac Defender malware or one of its known variants on this endpoint. Let's take a look at the endpoint. Here we have the endpoint and you can see that it has the Mac Defender UI that's effectively taken over the desktop. We can verify this is Mac Defender again by looking in the finder. So let's go back to the LMSS Management Console and deploy the Removal Tool policy. So here we've selected the Lumension Software Removal Tool for Mac Defender Policy Content and we've opened the Deployment Wizard. Let's take a look at the Manage Deployments page, and we can see that the removal policy has been scheduled for deployment to the managed machine. Let's take a look at the machine again. This endpoint is going to check in at its next scheduled interval to discover any applicable updates, including the removal tool. Okay, you can see that the process has been stopped and the application files have been deleted from the system, effectively removing the malware from this machine. Let's check the LMSS console again. We can now see that the policy is showing as patched. The last step is to ensure that any new Macs that join the managed network pick up this policy. This is done by adding the content to a mandatory baseline policy. Let's go to the Manage Groups page. We have a default system group here for all Macs managed in the network. So let's select the mandatory baseline option. And add the Lumension Software Removal Tool for Mac Defender Removal policy to the mandatory baseline policy. And that's it. Any new Macs managed in this network will now pick up the removal policy to ensure that Mac Defender or any of its known variants stay off the endpoint. Thanks, Russ. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to use Lumention Patch and Remediation to detect and remove Mac Defender from your OS X machines and to keep it off of them. For more information, 
please visit the patch and remediation page on our website where you can also get free premium security tools to assess your entire network today. Thank you.